Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and this Wednesday I made this big kitty house so we need to find some kitties and put in here. As you can see we already got a black panda here. It is the Indian leopard I use as a panda here. Sorry, not panda but panther. Um, and then we have one Persian leopard and two Sri Lankan leopards. So we have a little mixed group in here and uh, we hope they're not gonna fight. But basically our mission here in Future Life Asia is to bring animals home. And uh, we were offered all of these leopards that otherwise would have been uh, sadly killed if we haven't seen them. Uh, so we neutered some of them to make sure that they would behave nicely, hopefully. Um, but overall, we needed to bring them home and give them a chance to live out their life here. Uh, some of them comes from zoo, some of them come from circus or something like that. Um, and the circuses can't luckily have them anymore in a lot of countries. And some zoo sadly uh, killed them off. Uh, to bring in new blood in the group, so we took them in and gave them uh, a chance to be here. Of course, we need to keep an extra eye on them to make sure no one, none of them are too aggressive towards the others. But this far, they look to be very nice to each other. Because all three subspecies, all three are leopards, I am going to tell you a lot about leopards today. Uh, and I will specify when I'm talking about a specific leopard, but uh, overall information uh, will be uh, common for both of them in most cases. I will just uh, mention fast that the reason we chose to put them in this specific habitat is because the other kitty cats we're gonna add in here are going to be smaller. So the leopard was the biggest one and we don't want to put a very small cat in next to a giant tigers, the Maltese tigers we have next to them uh, because we were afraid they would scare them uh, a lot so the leopards here are more um, bigger and therefore won't be scared that easily and just to be upfront with this, this aren't going to be a habitat for the guest. Of course, the guests can go here and see it, but it is made for the leopards. Therefore, some of the guests won't agree with the way we put uh, in plants in here today. We're gonna add a lot of foliage, and it's because the leopards are kind of shy. So we want to make sure that they can roam around their own home without being too stressed out by the guests. So therefore the guests can't actually see them all the time. So they either need to be patient or move on to the next animal. But back to the leopard and I will have four links for you to below. Uh, all from Animalia, but one's from leopards as the species leopard. Uh, one for the Indian leopard, one for the Persian leopard, and one for the Sri Lankan leopard. Um, so it is easy to find what you're looking for if you want to fact check me. I think most of us actually think as leopards as one of the big cats out there, but they are actually only a middle-sized cat. They have a slender body and quite short legs. Uh, though the legs are fairly strong, which they use to climb, and in addition to the climbing, they also have a long tail, which helps them keep the balance. The head compared with the body is quite big, and it's because the skull has to be big to support those big, strong jaws um, and not uh, break in pieces, basically, when they start to chew on bones or any other hard body parts. They have small ears that actually are pretty round compared with other cats and they have these eyebrow hairs which are almost as long as their whiskers and these eyebrows hair sorry, are used to push apart vegetation when they go through a field of tall grass for instance so it keeps the grass out of their eyes. Overall, the leopards have somehow the same color-ish 
and the same markings though you can actually tell a african leopard away from the asian base of the the dark marks on african leopards are more square where they are much more rounded in asian leopards the tail is ringed and the markings in the face and chest are more spots instead of these rosettes they have on the rest of the body the coloration of the leopards also vary very much uh, depending on where they live but not specifically which continent leopards that lives for a generation on grassland or distant areas for instance will have a very pale yellowish color to blend in with the light sand where leopards living in foresty areas will have a deeper well, not reddish but orangey coloration and darker spots to make them blend in in a dark jungle for instance the indian leopard lives in forest rainforest and mountain area and therefore have this darker yellowish orangey coat with these very dark pigmented uh, rosettes and spots where the sri lankan leopards also lives in forest areas but still in savannah rocky areas grassland um, scrublands and anthropogenic areas so it has this kind of middle color which is quite pigmented but isn't uh, the rosettes and spot aren't as prominent as they are on the indian when we go over to the persian leopard it is clearly more pale both the uh, spots the rosettes and the base color is much more muted and that has something to do with their uh, living area they live mostly in grassland savannah uh, mountains anthropogenic and agricultural rocky areas but they can also live in forests but a lot of them lives out in the open and since we are talking about where they live the indian leopard live in bangladesh bhutan china india nepal pakistan uh, and tibet and it is thereby the most spread uh, of the Asian leopard. The Sri Lankan leopard live in Sri Lanka and that's it. The Persian leopard also live in quite a few places but not a big as a area. They live in Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Greece, Iran, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Russia, Syria, Turkey and Turkmenistan and of course this is more countries than the Indian leopard but it's still a smaller area. I just want to go back here to the habitat as you can see I use a lot of purple light colored flowers and that's basically because I want to draw in light. We have a rooftop over here so we only have those small squares of light in here and we have a lot of foliage so it can become quite dark and especially with the black panthers here it is quite difficult to see them in the dark so therefore every time they go in front of a light flower or something with light in it uh, they will be easier to see so therefore all of these purple is flowers will help us see the animals of course overall the leopard lives a lot more places than the uh, three we have here um, but I'm just gonna mention the subcontinents because the list of countries are so long so they live in South Asia, Sub-Sahara, Africa, Western Asia, Southeast Asia, East Asia, North Africa and Central Asia so they are pretty widespread to be honest and uh, that's actually very good for them. the issue though is with the numbers but we will get back to that later now the elephant in the room we put multiple leopards in this habitat and yeah they are solitary creatures and if they should meet in the middle of the night somewhere or just at some time uh, run into another leopard then they will uh, make a kind of coughing sound 
uh, or a rasping noise to inform the other leopards that they are in the area. They have, of course, a home range which they protect, but their area can easily overlap with quite a few other leopards without issues. These overlapping areas will typically be a male have overlapping areas with multiple females, but it can also be a female habitat overlapping with one of her own uh, cubs who have grown up and moved out and found their own area. Uh, and sometimes they can still interact with each other in a later stages of life without issues, which actually are kind of cozy compared with a lot of other felines. And these kind of familiar uh, bonds can actually help them if they can't uh, hunt for themselves in a, a period or if there aren't that many preys around, then they can actually choose to share a meal with each other, which are kind of cute when you think about it. Most leopards are active from dusk to dawn, but there are uh, differences between subspecies. Some of them are nocturnal and some of them are just more active in the night hours. But something they all have in common is they all prefer to lay around and relax most of the day and hunt in the night. They hunt in the night because they have the clear advantages. They have a keen sense of smell and they can see in the dark. Besides that, their hearing are excellent and therefore they can hear a lot of both bigger and smaller animals without them being able to hear, see or smell them. They usually hunt on the ground, but they are also able to hunt in the trees, for instance, birds or other climbing animals. When it comes to the specific hunting of animals, leopards are very much like cats. And if you have seen a cat hunt, you know exactly what I mean. They will kind of get as close to the prey as possible. Uh, kind of in a very, um, what's it called, a stealth way. Make themselves really close to the crown, almost invisible, and already they have the help from the uh, darkness of the night, of course, so they can get very close to this animal. Uh, normally that would be within 5 meters, which is a lot more than a cat would try to get to, but it's also way smaller, because then within a few jumps it can be on top of the prey, and then it will pound on it with the paws and then take, uh, take the neck of the prey with its jaw and just cleanse on it and that way suffocate the prey. They won't bite in on it until they die, it will basically just suffocate the animals with its extremely strong uh, jaw. As every cat owner knows that they scratch up everything, but for leopards it's actually having a really good explanation. Because when they scratch up a tree, they leave their scent on that tree. And due to their really well developed uh, scents, uh, of smell, they can only from scratch marks uh, know the smell of themselves, where a lot of animals have to defecate or pee or something, they can just scratch a tree and then smell, oh this is, this is me, that's where I am, that's kind of brilliant. Leopards actually also have a lot of different kind of sounds they can use. Uh, this 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 include growls, snarls, meows, which a lot of cats actually can't do, but uh, the leopards do actually meow and they purrs. Even the babies have their own er uh, er uh, sound. It's it's written here as u r r u r r, so I'm guessing it's er uh, er uh, sound to warn their mama that someone is near that shouldn't be there. Uh, and it's a specific sound for that. It isn't just their I want attention sound. It is a specific sound that warns their mom that someone is here that shouldn't be. 
As you probably know, the lipids are carnivores, but they are just not normal carnivores. They are opportunistic carnivores, which means that they eat what they can find that is uh, meat. So they can eat jackals, antelope, gazelles, monkeys, donkey, elant, impala, wildebeest, birds, ruins, hyraxes, harrows, snakes, sheep, goats and insects and everything in between if it comes along. The leopards really aren't picky, they are eating what they can. I'm pretty much running out of time here, so I'm gonna go very fast over the mating season. That is pretty much year-round, but mainly in May. The female are pregnant for 90 to 105 days. This vary uh, based on season and based on subspecies and based on area they live in. They will give between 2 and 4 cups and they will be independent after 18 to 24 months which is a year and a half to two years. Of course, the numbers are still pretty low for all the leverage, which I think most people were aware of. Um, but personally, they suffer for a lot of fragmentation. Their habitats have basically been cut over in many pieces and therefore they live in various small groups in uh, areas far apart. But there are also a continental issue. In African countries, most of the leopards are hunted, uh, basically because a lot of their body are used in natural remedies, but also that their fur are used in traditional kinds of clothing, where in Eurasian areas that will also include the Asian ones, um, they have bigger issues with illegal trade of the animals which both can be in life or dead. The numbers of the lepers vary a lot since there are a lot of subspecies that haven't the exact clown. But overall the lepers are listed as vulnerable and need a lot of help to survive. The Indian leopard don't even have a space on the IUCN red list because their data just isn't good enough, so they don't even know how many there's left, so they can earn a spot on the list. The Sri Lanka leopard have since 2020 been listed as vulnerable since there are about 800 mature individuals in the wild. Now, 800 doesn't sound as much, it sounds like they should be critical endangered, but it is a small population by nature and they have a small area on Sri Lanka to live in, so they are all only vulnerable by that standard. Which actually is kind of fun when you think about it compared to the Persian leopard, where in 2016 they were estimated 871 to 1290 mature individuals lived in the wild, which means there are a few more of the Persian than of the Sri Lankan leopard, but this makes the Persian leopard endangered. And the difference here is that the Persian leopard lives uh, in a much bigger range of countries and therefore the individuals per square kilometers is much smaller. I will leave you now to the rest of the cinematics and I will be back afterwards.
yeah everybody we are finally here and i really hope you enjoyed this build i did i don't remember if i mentioned but i did choose to uh, not fast forward the speed build as much as i used to because it is in a very close space so there was a lot turning the camera around and honestly when i started with the five times speed up uh, i got dizzy by watching it so i hope this three times speed up was better for you as well um and basically yeah i don't have much to say as you can see here i actually record this later after i have built the next uh, speed build which you can see down here in the corner and i hope that intrigues you just a little bit and uh, yeah you know the drill guys like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again i'll find the cuts below or in the next video bye guys